Hey guys, wanted to bring you another video about the Niners yesterday's loss. My thoughts and reaction, obviously, uh, was a very difficult loss, uh, especially um, being up, uh, what was it, 10 to, I think 23. So they were up 13 points, I remember that. Largest lead at one point, obviously, Cal, uh, with the kicker out, Moody. Uh, it was very hard that they could not kick any field goals um, or extra point for that reason. And then what was another difficult thing? Jordan Mason fumbling uh, when they were about to score. That could help seal the game. Um, and then early on, Kyler Murray, obviously they struggle against mobile quarterbacks. That was another issue. Uh, special teams in the past wasn't showing up and they got that block so it's very disappointing especially but what also helped was that the Giants with the big upset taking care of Seattle Seahawks it could be one of those years that everyone in the NFC West could be average or below average uh, due to different reasons and we've actually had that before so um, as long as you get in and healthy in the playoffs you, you have a chance now you have a better chance if you're the number one seed because you only have to win two games to get to the Super Bowl but with everything going on with the Niners at this point you want everybody healthy and buy yourself some time that's what's going on with the Rams also uh, that they were hoping to beat the Green Bay Packers yesterday to get healthy um, because Puka Nakua and uh, Cup going to be coming back eventually. Uh, I think sooner than Christian McCaffrey. And that's where they're just trying to buy time to be able to get in. Um, so that's where this Thursday's game is very critical for the Niners uh, to get back on track and be tied in first with the NFC West which being first would be three and three for the Seattle Seahawks and the Niners. The issue could come down the tiebreakers because you've already lost to the Rams and the Cardinals. That's where you're going to have to beat them uh, again uh, when you have to play them because you it, that, that's where you, you don't want to split any of those NFC games. Um, honestly, if they do lose to Seattle Seahawks, it the season could be already almost over at that point because um, at that point, the wild cards are probably going to be coming out at this rate, the way things are starting, probably going to be coming out the NFC North because all those teams have winning records. Um, and like the Eagles starting off slow too because uh, nobody expected the Washington Commanders to be up there and then Dallas Cowboys got a win so I think there's going to be only one team coming out of the NFC West and if it's not the Niners it, then yeah it's going to be one of those missed cues for this season because of injuries and coaching Kyle Shanahan should I think be on the hot seat because you have most of your offensive pieces your defense is still not there um Again, I don't know if Sorensen, the defensive coordinator, was the right call because it was in-house. Um, yeah, very disappointing start of the season. If you saw my prediction for the start of the year, I did not pre predict this uh, or expect this. There should be one true loss within the Vikings. Obviously, they're a good team. That's why they're still undefeated. Um, but you had the game in control with the Rams and the Cardinals. And you got those two wins against very bad teams. So technically you should be 4-1, but because you did not take care and close out the game, you're right now 2-3. and three. So this Thursday's game is very critical. And then you got that extra break. So maybe this Thursday's game is a good timing because that could give them the extra rest if they could get this win by some time in that sense. Um, let me know what you think, especially if you're a Niners fan or Seahawks, because 
again, you you got a chance to take first place or be in control, especially with a bounce back of a really bad loss against the Giants for the Seahawks fans. So I think both teams are really going to be looking for a must win, I think, uh, for the Niners. Or, yeah, I would say the Niners have a must win. Um, Seahawks, if they lose, um, then at least they know it, it, they're still in control with their fate. It's a uh, tie between the Niners and Seahawks. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. And together we'll get better tomorrow. Thanks.